Small forest ponds can be home to some amazing creatures. For amphibians, these are important nurseries. Some of the most remarkable salamanders that breed here are called mole salamanders because they spend most of their lives underground, emerging only to breed in the spring. But you won't find the marbled salamander swimming around in these ponds during the spring with their relatives. Instead, marbled salamanders breed in these ponds in the fall when they're dry. On rainy fall nights, marbled salamanders migrate from burrows in the surrounding forests to low-lying depressions and dry pond basins. Here, males and females court one another and females deposit their eggs in groups of 30 to 200. So, we've just turned up this log and underneath are one, two, three, four, five marbled salamander mothers on their eggs. Uh, I'll give you a closer look here in a minute, but. This is amazing, look at this. This one log is shelter for all these salamanders. And we have to be very careful how we put this log back. I'm actually gonna take the salamanders out and let them crawl back to the eggs after I've lifted it because I don't want to harm them in putting the log back. They hide their eggs under the leaves and logs in the empty pond basin where the females will stand guard for weeks. This guarding behavior likely protects against insects and fungi that might otherwise consume the eggs. As the ponds fill with water over the coming weeks, the eggs will hatch and the watchful mothers will return to their forest homes. Marbled salamander larvae are small when they hatch, but they grow throughout the winter. While snow and ice cover the forest, these salamander larvae stay active and can be seen swimming beneath the ice and feeding on small crustaceans and invertebrates. By the time spring arrives, the diminutive marbled salamander has a distinct size advantage over other hatchling amphibians. Though adult marbled salamanders are roughly half the size of spotted salamanders, the smaller species ends up dominating these ponds as larvae. For amphibians that rely on dynamic water resources, timing really is everything. Though most people will never see a marbled salamander, I think it's important that we know they exist. Like many other small woodland creatures, they lead incredible lives that go mostly unnoticed by human eyes living and dying in a great web of life that extends out into places unseen, but often just underfoot.